What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Baby Doge right now because as you can see, Baby Doge had a really nice pump. The overall crypto market has been pumping today. So we're gonna be talking about where Baby Doge could be ending up next. So remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and join. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over first. And yeah, let's get straight to it. So the first thing I want to talk about here with Baby Doge right now, we literally just now hit the little support here, but let's talk about the pump that we just now had. I, I told you this and I keep telling people this all the time. Whenever we have consolidation like this, it's almost certain that we break out like this. I, I was like, look, maybe we do what we did last time. Watch my video from yesterday and then you'll really see what I'm talking about here. But yeah, I was like, maybe we do what we did last time. We get to the end of consolidation and then we break out onto a little bit of a downtrend and then hit a support and then just immediately start breaking out after that. But no, it actually touched the bottom of our consolidation period. And then the second it touched the bottom of this consolidation wedge, you actually seen that breakout here for Baby Doge. So yeah, I'm definitely happy that we had like really nice growth inside of Baby Doge. And I've been talking about this for a while, even with Bitcoin. Bitcoin had the same forming wedge. We had the same wedge for me. Watch my video from yesterday. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So I'm just really happy that everything panned out and everything turned out just as we expected. So I'm really happy that we now have this uptrend inside the whole overall crypto market right now. Now, could it be a bull trap? Maybe it's a bull trap. But right now, what we're just looking at, we're looking at Baby Doge. So yeah, this is nice. Like I said, watch that video from yesterday. But anyways, over here, you can see on the oscillator, so much buying pressure coming in, a lot of buying pressure. And then the bulls right here, in control 24 hour market control by 60 percent so yeah we're 60 percent bullish and now what you really want to look at is this so look we actually kind of peaked out right here and that was pretty much our resistance but it's a very small area of resistance look at this this is a very lightly shaded red area very very hard to even see so usually when we're very bearish we have this huge area of red which shows less demand and the supply and demand it shows less demand but what we're seeing right now we're seeing this little tiny red area, very tiny. This could mean that, yeah, there's just a slightly less demand. And you can see even here on the oscillator, it's showing some sellings happening. But we may actually be met by our support. So like I said, the support could be around 1.5 right now. But what we're really looking at is a pump above 1.8. So if this support is just how we see it around 1.5 and we end up stopping around 1.5 on the support, then what you're going to see next is Baby Doge heading to this next area. So let's talk about that. Let's first go over to the four hour chart here. And like I said, I'm going to keep saying it again and again. Check out my video from yesterday. We, we predicted this. Like I've been going over this for a while. And then I was like, look, I see this pattern. It's about to break out. And that's exactly what it did. It broke out. I'm really happy. That's why I keep talking about it. But yeah, I'm just happy that Baby Doge broke out again. And we talked about the same thing back here. And yeah, we had another breakout. But can this be... The, can this be like bull trap? Yeah, it definitely could be. But let's talk about if it's not a bull trap, what could we have happen right now with Baby Doge? So right now, what we're pretty much going to see, we just now kind of hit this 1A area. But now Baby Doge has the potential to pump past 2, 3. So yeah, that's the major area that we have to pump past. This whole red area here is pretty much supply and demand of less demand. It's pretty much showing less demand for Baby Doge all the way from about 2, 2, all the way down to about 1, 8. So there's a little bit less buying pressure going on. But right here, we are like right in the middle of the sweep spot where people are buying Baby Doge heavy and where people really didn't want to buy Baby Doge. So we were literally right in the middle, right in that sweet spot there. So that just ended up being massive for us. We had so much momentum. So the next area for Baby Doge to go to, like I said, 2-2, two, two, we're just going to have to keep watching out for that. When If we form another wedge, then I'll definitely allow, I'll definitely let you all know about that. But yeah, 2-2, two, two, and if we break out past 2-2, two, two, we're going to be met with a resistance around 2-8, and then eventually we can get up to 3-1. So that's pretty much what we're going to see next for Baby Doge. Now, talking about Bitcoin for a little bit, Bitcoin's kind of doing the same thing. Everything's really pumping right now. If you look at the whole overall crypto market, Bitcoin up 7%, Ethereum up 9%, uh, Cardano up 21%. So yeah, we're doing good all over the board here. The main thing, though, Baby Doge is up huge, 16.4%. That's pretty big for us, like really big. So I think we can continue to do these type of gains with Baby Doge, especially since right here you can actually see Baby Doge's one-year birthday for the one-year-old Baby Doge is literally on um, June 1st. Yeah, June 1st, we're going to have Baby Doge at the one-year birthday. So 
there's a lot of rumors that something big is going to be happening for Baby Doge. But hey, let's see. We we even got Dogecoin training over here. Dogecoin to the moon. So maybe we can have Baby Doge also trending and have some nice gains coming in. But yeah, like I said, watch my video from yesterday. I'm going to keep saying that because look, I've been telling people with these technical analysis, just follow these trends, just follow these patterns. And yeah, if you would have got in at this area, you would be up nice right now. But anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all for the Baby Doge. But over here, you can see eToro tweets about Baby Doge. So this is also a hint that we may get another major listing. eToro is very big. And the fact that they're tweeting Baby Doge, like that's huge. Now, this is the Dutch eToro, which you can actually see right here. It says eToro NL. And I believe that stands for, yeah, Netherlands. So the fact that the Dutch Baby Doge, the Dutch Baby Doge app is tw tweeting about Baby Doge. This is still pretty big, even though it's not the official. Well, this is the official eToro app, but this isn't like the English one. But still, it's the same entity. So yeah, Baby Doge could possibly get, be getting listed to eToro. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I want to see Baby Doge listed to eToro, though. So that would definitely be amazing. But yeah, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. I just wanted to go over this because whenever I make these predictions here, I do it just purely based off of the, check, the technicals and the charts. And what the charts were telling us was that Baby Doge was about to go on a breakout. That's exactly what happened. So I'm going to keep on watching this. I'm going to keep on following it for you all. And I'll let you know exactly when we're about to have another rise here in Baby Doge. But actually, before I close this out, I do want to show you something. The peak that we hit is actually lower than this area. That's why I was also saying, be careful. What if it is a bull trap? We got to be careful for that. We always got to watch out for these bull traps. But look, this is lower than this one right here. So... It could mean that we're getting lower highs, and I mentioned that in one of my other videos as well. If we're getting lower highs, that's definitely a bearish movement right there, but we'll only know until after June 1st because let's be honest, like Baby Doge, June 1st, that's going to be huge. That's going to be Baby Doge's birthday. So right now we're at the, um, the 30th, so inside two days on the 1st, that's when we'll really know if this is a bull trap or not. So just wait two days, and then you'll know if it's a bull trap. But yeah, definitely hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. If you're a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and let me know what you want me to go over next. And I'll go over the members' request first. So definitely become a member. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.